Hi guys, welcome to the beautiful world of Frontity. So what is Frontity and why do we need it? Well, Frontity is a free and open source framework to develop WordPress themes based on React.js. So let me show you an example of a site created with Frontity. You can see all of these posts are coming from WordPress, my WordPress site. I have my categories available, you have nature, travel, Japan, about us, all of those information. So you can see that all of these posts are being rendered and they are being rendered from my WordPress site. But this site that you see here is in React. So why do we need to use WordPress with React or why should we use? Well, I'll show you this graph. As of April, WordPress powers 33% of web. Its market share has been growing last year over last year and it shows no signs of slowing down. You can see the one in the red, as you can see here, it's just going up. It is moved from 30% and it's just moving close to around 34 to 35%. So, and also with the shift of, to Gutenberg as well, the rise of headless CMS approaches, the WordPress community has started considering React for their project. Beside this, modern libraries like React are going popularity with becoming essential to rich end user experience. So if WordPress is great, React too. So why not combine both of them? And as you already know, React is super fast. It's even supported by Facebook. Those are the people who develop React. Okay, so if your front end is in React, it's going to be super fast. Okay, and then we have the power of WordPress, which is a content management system. Now, why should we use Frontity? Why not build our own framework? The only problem is that in order for you to build a WordPress theme with React, there are a lot of things uh, that developers need to learn and configure. For example, bundling, transpiling, routing, server rendering, retrieving data from WordPress, managing state, managing CSS, and many others. So, with the help of Frontity, this makes your job a lot easier. So, all I have to do is just run two simple commands, which is npx Frontity create my app, and cd my app, and then npx Frontity dev. And that's all. Your site will be up and running. Let me show that to you. So I'm going to go on to their documentation. They have got a very rich documentation which they constantly update. I'm going to just copy this command. I'll just paste it here and run it. And great, it's installed. So all I have to do now is just one run, run one simple command that's going to start the server on localhost port 3000. And I can go in over there and I can see my site. So I'm going to go to my browser, just type localhost 3000 and here you go. You've got your site here. Brilliant. Awesome. And these are the currently, uh, the posts that you see are coming from the test site. So if you go on to the app, I've opened this up into my text editor. Uh, you can see there is a frontity of dot settings dot js you just have need to come over here scroll down and come over here to api url so currently the posts are being served from here all I, all you have to do is just change this part to your url so currently i'm going to be using the local one so now if i go ahead and check it's going to be serving the post from my local wordpress great awesome which means that you don't really need to have a lot of knowledge of learning wordpress rest api or how these things are working how you need to do all of that stuff you can just simply change the URL over here to your site and that works. So if I go to my local WordPress over here and I just check, you can see that these are my posts that are over here. If I go over here, I can see that these are the ones. I can click on single post also and it shows me by ID. And this is all in React, guys. Now, isn't that simply amazing? You can also see that inside of packages directory, it has already installed a default theme called mass theme. Okay, and you can also go ahead and use other themes as in when they are available. Currently, they are into beta version. They have launched their beta version. So how does Frontity actually work? So let's say you have your WordPress CMS, which is your content editor, which runs on PHP server. Frontity uses WordPress REST API and takes the data from your WordPress site and 
the theme that's available on React on Frontity, which is running on the Node server, which means it's, it's super fast. Okay, let's say on the www site.com it goes ahead and converts those generates the pages into html as well as it supports amp okay so it uses the wordpress rest api to retrieve the content from wordpress and generate the final html and also it is capable to generate amp pages which is even super fast uh, with the same react code and css so Frontier is prepared to be hosted either in a regular Node.js server or in even in a serverless services like AWS, Lambda, uh, Now, uh, Netlify, Google Functions and so on. That's, that really makes it super cheap and infinitely scalable. So let's see what are the features Frontity offers. The very first feature that Frontity offers is zero setup development. This is great for developers because everything is already wired up. React, Webpack, Babel, server-side rendering, routing, even CSS in JS. That means you can use style component, uses immersion style components, and WordPress REST API, TypeScript, even linting and testing, which means you, if you're working for a client project, you can even do your testing as well. Okay, and the best part is that it's lightning fast loading. So Frontity sends an HTML that is ready to start navigating the site. So the initial load feels almost instant. You also have instant in-app navigation, which means once React has loaded, our router prefetches other routes and data automatically. User never have to wait when they navigate inside the apps. This is going to give you an amazing experience to your users. And the awesome thing is that you have Google AMP with the same code base. So themes made with Frontity are able to render an app compatible version with the same React code and CSS used for HTML version. And if you check your site on Lighthouse, you will see it has got amazing scores. You get the maximum score in Lighthouse including performance and SEO and accessibility which, most, which is the most thing that people worry about. Theme developers start with 100 and they just need to maintain it while they add features to their theme. And you also have PWA and offline support. So our themes, these themes actually work with WordPress, manifest to get full PWA compatibility out of the box. They also work offline without any extra configuration via service workers. You have serverless and horizontal scaling which means that the Frontity server is so small that it suits perfectly the serverless requirements as well. That means that infinite scaling for WordPress for front-end, Frontity is also prepared to scale horizontally in any node server. It is extensible. So via Frontity extensions and NPM packages, there are a lot of Frontity extensions already available. For example, you have AdSense, Smart Ads, Double Click for Publishers, one single push notification, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Comscore, Used. So there's so many of them. And apart from these extensions, there are many interfaces tools specifically created for Frontity. Context routing, swap navigation, infinite scrolling, Gutenberg to React. So there's so many of them. Okay. So Frontity themes can also use any of the 80,000 React packages currently available in NPM also offer server-side rendering so Frontity responds with a fully populated HTML file generated with React so this reduces the time required for the first contentful paint and ensures that SEO is not harmed this is one of the key things that are important for your site you'll be amazed to know that it also offers code splitting so it uses webpack to split the code and send the minimum code required for the application to work it also allows developers to dynamically load the components with the help of loadable components. And this is super good for your fast website. You also have battle tested, which means they are open sourcing the internal framework that they have used using to power the big WordPress news sites during the last two years, used by million readers, and Frontity is proven and ideal for building engaging front-end experiences. 
Now you must be wondering that I can use Gatsby, why don't I go ahead and use that? Well, yes, you can, but let me, let's discuss what are the differences. The very first one is that Frontity actually focuses 100% on WordPress. So it's basically designed for WordPress. This option added, it has its own state manager and it uses Emotion and for CSS. So you have CSS with JS as well. It's extensible like WordPress themes and extensions can be activated and deactivated without code changes. Well, you know, don't need to learn GraphQL or REST API. If you don't have that much of knowledge of that, you can get the data using the state manager. Also, it works with server-side rendering and it can output Google AMP HTML create with the same React code base. So what are we waiting for, guys? Let's go ahead and install Frontity and see how that works. If you want to know more about Frontity, you can go onto their documentation on frontity.org. You can see there is a rich and extensive documentation available, how this works, the code base, all of that information, the API references, as well as you can check uh, this WordPress source API reference and you can also contribute if you are a developer and you'd love to contribute to this project you can it's currently in its beta version so you're most welcome to test it out and let Frontity know if you uh, want some changes or if you want to contribute my name is Imran you can follow me on Imran H. Sayed on Twitter and my YouTube handle is Imran Sayed Dev I will see you in the next video take care guys bye bye